Ministers, colleagues, dear friends, it is a pleasure to be with you at this important event. Your presence today is a testament to our shared mission to develop sustainable solutions for ensuring responsible business conduct in the garment and footwear sector, which have been affected particularly by the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has exposed the fragility of the garment sector value chains with devastating impacts on workers. Now, while the outbreak created supply and demand shocks, in many instances, the industry response to the disruption exacerbated the impact, leading to mass redundancies and lost wages for workers as a result of uh, order cancellations, non-payment, or attempted renegotiations. This is because the initial industry response was mostly reactive, was uncoordinated, and it exposed the fragilities and inequities embedded in the prevailing business models. As a result, Workers were left high and dry in countries which have long been powerhouses of the global garment sector, but which do not grant workers the social protections that we take for granted. On the other hand, we have seen that companies that had invested in responsible business conduct before the onset of the pandemic specifically in social dialogue and supply chain engagement structures, were better placed to mitigate its impacts. One lesson then is that due diligence and RBC management systems reinforce supply chain resilience. Now, responsible businesses are resilient businesses. And given the experience with the pandemic over the past year and looking ahead, our efforts to create supply chains that are both responsible and resilient are of utmost importance. The common denominator of those efforts is due diligence. Based on the OECD due diligence guidance for responsible supply chains in the garment and footwear industry, in the garment and footwear sector. Due diligence is preventative, risk-based, informed by stakeholders, and involves ongoing communication. Now, harmonizing our efforts is the best recipe for resilience across the whole value chain. Let me highlight our priorities. First of all, we need to anchor ourselves in widely accepted benchmarks. The alignment of policies, regulations, and practice with OECD due diligence guidance will be important to drive better cooperation, reduce costs, and facilitate consensus on the numerous technical aspects of due diligence. With a common understanding anchored in OECD uh, RBC standards, we can then turn to matters of information exchange. Timely and meaningful data sharing across the value chain is key. Not only in times of uh, crisis, you know, when situation is as complex as it is today, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, we, we need to um, harness uh, the digital 
uh, the digital efforts, the, the digital tools. We need to break down information silos. We need to address key questions about the ownership and the value of data generated by, uh, uh, by all the, the different uh, actors in the game. Um, second, is a question of the dialogue between buyers, suppliers, and worker organizations. This is pivotal to protect workers by holding parties to account for their actions. From poor purchasing practices, non-payment of wages, or redundancies. So let's work together to demand and facilitate these dialogue structures uh, in all segments. Um, now, third, sectorial collaboration is essential for companies to increase the leverage and uh, increase the scale. Uh, our industry and multi-stakeholders initiatives play an important role to support and guide companies through this process. However, these organizations must be accountable to their members and their rights holders and demonstrate their impact. So governments are a key actor in this agenda by driving initiatives to greater alignment, to improve trust, and to gain greater efficiencies from cross-recognition and harmonized reporting requirements. To this end, the OECD developed its alignment assessment methodology, carrying out assessments of the Sustainable Apparel Coalition, the German Partnership for Sustainable Textiles, and the Dutch Agreement on Sustainable Garments and Textiles, with an assessment of Fair Wear Foundation. Underway and more coming in the pipeline. There's more cases of the application of these uh, assessment standards and more examples of sectors and national uh, uh, footwear and, and garment industries that will benefit. We're encouraged by the leadership of these initiatives to work with us to recognize the importance of self-reflection and the importance of self-improvement. Now, dear friends, this crisis should be seen as a turning point when companies learn that their business models were in fact putting their very essence, their very existence at risk for responsible and resilient supply chains, the collective shift to more sustainable business models and supply chain management that protect workers and their livelihood needs, that has to be done now. And it has to be done in synergy with all the stakeholders. So please count on the OECD in this important endeavor, in this important mission. Thank you.